because we know what to do with, with animals. Animals are easy. You love your animal to death. You'll do anything for your pet. Anything. Almost. You'll bring your pet for surgery, drop four or five grand. You will keep, oh, I've been over, I've been over, my father-in-law kept this dog, I'd walk in, I didn't know it was a dog anymore. I said, what is that? He goes, no, you leave Mr. Fritz alone. I said, Mr. Fritz, this thing was blind, missing chunks, not a little hair, chunks of hair just shaking in the corner. And he goes, it's got no teeth. He goes, I know, your, your mother-in-law wants to kill it and put it to sleep, but he lives a good life. The thing had no tail. All the hair rotted off the tail, and it was just a weird looking straw thing that was bent and couldn't move. Uh, he's, he lives a good, healthy life. He's still happy. He had tumors the size of my ass, and one under his jaw, one under his leg, and if you touched it, he's like, don't touch the tumor. You can pet him everywhere else, but don't touch his tumors. I said, Dad, how does it eat? He eats yogurt, and he, I give him yogurt every day, and I feed him with a spoon, and then I put him out in the yard to get fresh air. Dad, he's got holes in his head. That's from the Blue Jays. They're territorial. And they swoop down and peck on his head because they know he can't move. We Damn Blue Jays, I'm going to kill them all with my BB gun. <laughs> and you'll keep that thing alive until... It can't contain its bowel movement. That's when humans are out. Don't lie to yourselves. That's when we whack them. We whack them. We call it going to the vet. You're whacking. You know this creature's had enough. We gotta, we gotta whack them. We gotta whack them. Who wants to whack them? At the end of the day, you're whacking your pet. Doesn't feel good, but that, we gotta whack them. No matter how much you love it, when that thing looks at you and it Right inside the house, you just got, you just got a new paint job. Brand new rug, and he's looking. <laughs> dripping down his leg. And he's walking through the house, tracing it. 